Hello, everybody. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, the editor of NaturalNews.com. Check this out. Look at this product. This is a year-round pesticidal oil. Hmm. It says it's for dormant and growing season use to control all stages of insects and eggs for roses, flowers, fruits, and vegetables. And it, it says it contains no petroleum products. Sounds pretty cool, huh? Care to guess what's in it? Number one ingredient, 96%, hmm, right here, canola oil. 96% canola oil. That's right, it's made out of canola oil, the same stuff that you cook with. And check this out, it's got a precaution, precautionary statement right here. It's hazardous to humans and domestic animals. It even says, avoid contact with skin or clothing. Wash thoroughly with soap and water after handling the product and before eating, drinking, chewing gum, or using tobacco. Yeah, this is so dangerous, you have to wipe it off your hands before chewing tobacco, if you can believe that. Now it also says first aid, if you get it on your skin or you get it on your clothing, first aid for this canola oil product is to take off all your contaminated clothing. Huh, eh, sounds like a party idea, does it? A little party game. Who's got the canola oil on them now? Rinse your skin immediately with plenty of water for 15 to 20 minutes. Take a shower is what it's saying. Scrub all the stuff off of your skin. And then call a poison control center <laughs> or a doctor for treatment advice. Hey doctor, I got some canola oil on my skin. Oh, wait a minute. I was eating it, actually. What do I do? It says to call a poison control center. That's how toxic this stuff actually is. This, oh, and of course, you can also contact, it says, the National Pesticide Telecommunications Network Hotline. Yeah, just in case you need some extra advice on how to deal with this pesticide getting on you. But here's the real thing. Why would you spend $12 for this version of canola oil when you can spend five bucks and just get this? It's the, almost the same stuff. 96% of this is canola oil and 100% of this is canola oil. Well, you cook with this and you kill things with that. Yeah. This is in your kitchen and this is so dangerous that if you get it on your skin, you're supposed to call a poison control center. Go figure that. Why are we eating this in our food when this kills things? It kind of makes you wonder, doesn't it? But hey, if you're gonna buy this, don't waste your money, just buy this instead. You can spray this on bugs and it works just great. We've tested it, it really does work. This is a very effective bug killer. And I'm not saying anything bad about Crisco. You can also eat Crisco, Crisco canola oil, just like any other canola oil. And look, check it out, it's a cholesterol-free food. Isn't that nice? It probably should also say safe to use around children. Okay, now what if you want to do something different other than canola oil because you don't want, you know, to call the poison control center if you get some on you? Well, here's a product from a company called Bayer. Isn't that our favorite company? The Bayer Children's Aspen, Aspirin from Bayer, really our favorite company right here. And they have Natria Home Pest Control. This is, could be used in and around the home, it says. It kills on contact right here. It kills roaches and spiders and crickets and other listed pests. This is amazing stuff, very powerful. It kills all kinds of bugs on contact. Can you guess what's the ingredient in this one? The active ingredient, the number one active ingredient right here, soybean oil. It's right there on the label, soybean oil. This is what's killing the bugs in this. So between this pesticide, which is made with almost entirely canola oil, and this pesticide, which is made with soybean oil, you have two different cooking oils that are actually very good at killing bugs and you probably shouldn't get on your skin unless you want to call a doctor or a poison control center. Now, it kind of makes you wonder what we're eating, doesn't it? If you walk into somebody's kitchen and you see this, you might start thinking, hey, you could use that on the garden. You could use that to kill pests around the house if you wanted to, because it might be very effective for that. Now, you might wonder how much of this is in your food. How much of the soybean oil and the canola oil is actually in your food? Well, if you eat at restaurants, you're getting a whole lot of this in your food. Believe me, because they're using canola oil all over the place. It's one of the cheapest oils. And if you're getting food off the shelves, the packaged processed food in the grocery stores, you're probably also getting some canola oil in your food because it's very common in the vegetable oils and the salad dressings. Did you know canola oil used to be called rapeseed oil? Yeah, gee, for some reason no one wanted to buy it when it was called rapeseed oil. Hey honey, can you go to the grocery store and get me some rapeseed oil? And if you get it on your skin, uh, take off all your clothing immediately because that's what it says on the warning label. It's starting to get kind of weird and freaky. 
with canola oil, isn't it? And we haven't even talked about the GMO factor yet because a lot of these oils are genetically modified. Mostly when you buy corn oil, it's genetically modified corn oil. And when you buy uh, soybean oil, it's genetically modified soybean oil. Is that what makes it a more effective killer? Because I think it might be. I'm kind of wondering about that. Maybe the canola oil is genetically modified and that's what makes it more effective at killing pests. You know, it kind of makes you wonder, what does it do to humans? What does it do to the people who are eating this oil every single day as part of their diet? You know, like the people who aren't eating the, the olive oil or the coconut oil or the flaxseed oil or the chia seed oil. And instead, they're, they're eating canola oil and soybean oil. What's going on with their bodies and their minds and their nervous systems? Gee, is it any wonder we're having a healthcare crisis in America today and suffering from chronic degenerative disease in the population because they're eating freaking pesticides, okay? Every single day. That's what they're doing. They're eating pesticides every single day in America. It's in the school lunches, it's in the prison food, and it's in the corporate food in your corporate cafeteria, I guarantee you. So what do you do if you want to be healthy and have some healthy oils? Eat coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil or, or chia seed or flax seed or some nice healthy oils for a change. Even peanut oil is healthier for you than all of this stuff. Just make sure you know what you eat and don't get pesticides in your food. Not a good idea if you want to stay healthy. Thanks for watching. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger for naturalnews.com.